Good afternoon everyone. It is July 19th, 2016 and I am here to give you your latest installment of History in Asphalt, exploring Bronx history one block at a time. Now you probably already guessed that we're not at a block, but in a park, Van Cortlandt Park to be exact, and I am here to talk to you about this space behind me called the Parade Ground. Now today you'll find people playing baseball, soccer, cricket, running around the one plus mile loop. But 100 years ago, this area was essentially the hub of military activity in the Bronx. Also, 100 years ago, Europe was in the middle of World War I. And the United States, you know, just sitting on the sidelines, were still busy starting to mobilize troops as well as create training camps all around the United States in preparation for what would be the inevitable. Q Camp Van Cortland Park. Now, the residents around this area were not strangers to seeing men in uniform because the New York National Guard actually used this space in the 1890s, on and off up until World War I. Now, in 1917, when the United States officially went into the war, Camp Van Cortland Park was completely shut down to visitors and used as a military training ground. So when residents would walk by Broadway, seeing camouflage trains and airships was not an uncommon sight. Now there's not much left to Camp Van Cortland Park except this one spot in the parade ground. Behind me is one of the surviving foundations of a train stop actually. And it wasn't used for commuters, it was used to drop off ammunition and supplies for the troops in this, in this training ground. So if you're interested in learning more about World War I and Camp Van Cortland Park, the Bronx County Historical Society is giving a free lecture on this topic on August 20th at 1 p.m. Hope to see you there.